Good day, I'm Stephen Benoon. You are watching Israeli News Live. Wars and rumors of wars, a famous passage quoted by Jesus himself out of Matthew's Gospel, written in the 24th chapter. Are we starting to see <clears throat> the very evidence, the early stages, or even are we in the latter stages of these particular pre uh, tribulation events. It is clear that we already see the earthquakes in diverse places and the sea are roaring, but we're really beginning to see the world heat up against itself, nation against nation, famines in different places, food riots, and everything else that you can imagine around the world. And today it's heated up once again. <clears throat> in an article on on the Moscow Times, the U.S. cannot stop Russian nuclear missiles. Deputy Prime Minister uh, of, of Russia stated in, a, in, a, in an interview, uh, Rogozin, as his name was on a television program, a state-controlled Russian program in Moscow, and the Moscow Times covered part of this article. He said, U.S. missile defense cannot stop Russian nuclear weapons atop Minister said in an apparent re uh, reversal of Moscow's policy of slamming U.S. anti-ballistic missile capabilities as a dire threat to Russian security. Deputy Prime Minister Dmitry uh, Rogozin, who oversees Russia's military's industrial complex, boasted of unspecified breakthroughs in Russian military technology during a talk on the state-run Russia 1 television channel on Sunday night. Well, we, <clears throat> we will not disclose those technical details to anybody, Ro Rogzin said, according to the comments quoted by Interfax News Agency. But I can tell you one thing. The work conducted today on combat missiles technologies shows that neither the current nor even the projected American missile defense system could stop or cast doubt on Russia's strategic missile potential. <clears throat> U.S. missile defense has long been a sore point of, b between Moscow and Washington. In the U.S. 2009, scrapped plans for missile defense bases in Poland and Czech Republic and switched focus to sea base capability in part of the mollify Russian position. Russia had insisted that missile defense is a threat to its own security, a view aggressively advocated by Rogozin. During the stint as Russia's ambassador to the U.S.-led NATO alliance in 2009 through 2011, the U.S. and the Western military analysis maintained that the system is designed to protect it and its European allies from Iranian missiles, and that Russia was not a target. Following Russia's annexation of Crimea last year, uh, U.S. Senator Joe Donnelly and Democrat from Indiana asked at an April Senate hearing whether the U.S. should strengthen missile defenses in Europe in response to Russia having invaded the Ukrainian peninsula, something that the Russian uh, people are, are clearly denying, although it is obvious that they are backing with weapons to the Ukrainians, much like the United States backs the weapons for the uh, rebel re that's trying to topple uh, Assad in Syria. It's just a war between nations and wars and wars and more and more rumors of wars that will eventually break out into Armageddon, Gog and Magog, and a whole string of other biblical prophesied wars that are coming. And if that doesn't top off the list there, the United States President <clears throat> Barack Obama visited the, uh, India's Prime Minister and has vowed to give them nuclear weapons, helping them to defend their own country. Or is it the United States is surrounding Russia from every point, still trying to bring the, the great, uh, the, or the Russian nation down to its knees? It only reminds me of what happens when a bear is hungry in the springtime. Never fair it fails. When a bear comes out of hibernation in springtime, they're at their hungriest. They've not eaten all winter. Much is happening in Russia now. With inflation on such a escalation, lines are lining up for, the, for people to buy food, and it's becoming harder and harder to do so. That Russian bear, much like the grizzlies in real life, is going to be very hungry come this spring. And when a bear is hungry this spring, it doesn't matter the size of the creature that he must face, he is willing to kill its young in order to stay alive. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live.